We are currently about to see a year six class. Uh, so they're sort of a middle ability group uh, learning maths. And the subject we're covering in this session is Venn and Carroll diagrams. So sorting data with known facts that they would have picked up from previous lessons. Within the main task, they're actually, so they're right in their, uh, they're right in their prep for SATs. And so we've picked questions from past papers uh, that will be pitched at their level. Um, and they're going to use a range of their skills of knowing square numbers, prime numbers, multiples, not multiples of other numbers to sort the data into these different diagrams. Then they'll move around the room in order to do that. Rather than it being stuck in a booklet, um, I felt that the group have an ability to be able to take their learning around the room and still show an appreciation and a love for tackling these types of problems. My teaching assistant, uh, for the majority of the sessions, supports a young girl down front with uh, visual impairment. Um, so she was supporting her in the beginning in order for uh, a talk partner, um, in order for her to access the uh, initial input from the session. Uh, and then uh, she also works with uh, groups around the back, some of my stronger mathematicians who can be pushed on just a little bit further if they need it. Um, and then within the main task, she'll keep monitor Lucy, but also move around the room and monitor again my sort of back row, who would be my sort of slightly stronger mathematicians once again. They must be organised into that diagram in some way. Now, some of them will be number-based. There are one or two that are not number-based. So what else do we need? We think right back to the can I. If you have a quick look at that can I from the beginning of the session, what is it you actually need in order to be able to answer questions on Venn and Carroll diagrams? Lucy? You need to know the known facts. Known facts. So known facts about what this time? So we've looked at known facts for other things like angles and previous sessions. What known facts might you need today? Think about what you've just been doing in the task right now. Grace? You need to know your times tables. What else might you need to know in order to be able to answer Venn and Carroll questions? Sammy? Prime numbers. Yeah, prime numbers. Lily? Square numbers. Square numbers. Yeah, Grace? Cube numbers. Cube numbers. Yeah, good girl. Millie? Yeah, factors, what factors are. Lucy? Odd and even numbers. Odd and even numbers, okay. And very simply, two and three digit numbers. Odd and even, all right, keep them really simple. Now, have a look around the room. You can work with someone that you know you work well with. You can work independently. It is your choice. But what we don't want to see is if you are working a pair, one person carrying the pair. So if you're working as a pair, you contribute together to come up with the answer, all right. I will be checking around with the pairs to make sure that it isn't just one person carrying the group. All right? So you will need to see the questions. Why will we need to see the questions in, our, in order to answer the questions in your booklet? Ryan? So you know what's Well, what's missing from your questions right now that you are desperately going to need? Casey? The numbers. The numbers. All right, I've just given you the sorting diagrams. You've got to find the information for yourselves. OK? Yeah, it's just yeah. So, yeah. Ten is not a multiple. Ten twelve. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, so thirteen. Is ten is an even number. Thirteen goes on the outside. Yeah. Ten is an even number, but it's not multiple. It's not multiple. Yeah. Oh wait. Um, I, 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 I,